Hey guys, Scanner Danner here with my awesome son, Caleb Danner. Uh, we screwed up on this one, didn't we, Caleb? Yep. We just released uh, a condensed version of a case study we did on an auction vehicle, and um, Caleb had cut out a key piece of info, and I missed it in my review of it. We're adding it back right now for you guys. So this clip is the missing clip from our latest YouTube video. It was a truck, what did we title it? Auction truck, uh, possible bad ECM was the title. This is the clip that's important for you guys because a lot of you were saying in the comments, that sounded like a starter problem. You got a cable problem, solenoid sticking. It wasn't that the clicking sound you were hearing was from some aftermarket power takeoff solenoid or something like that. Um, we were missing control side power to the starter relay that was not the starter circuit and so um yeah we're bringing that footage back and then you know the keys being learned too was definitely part of it it, it seemed to be an, immo an immobilizer issue uh, that was causing that um so we're going to add that clip for you guys here for context so we're all on the same page and if you want to watch the full length version in its entirety, it's on my website, scannerdanner.com. It's on Scanner Danner Premium. We're also in that full length version, go in a little bit more in depth with the, with the wiring, and then also talk about the Top Don Phoenix Max, the scan tool we're using a little bit more. That is on there too. But we felt it was important for you guys to have this piece that should have not been cut out in our condensed version um, on YouTube. So if I didn't say that before, full length version on premium, condensed version on YouTube, and we missed this clip. So thank you guys, enjoy. I'm going after that. Just the regular crank circuit. Let's see if we can go see any inputs crank request signal it says yes engine control ignition relay command okay engine control module in theft deterrent fail enable yeah let's just go right after this crank circuit now we have a starter relay we do let's do this i've wanted to break out the new aes tool too caleb so here come over here the new you activate yeah let's go let's go first time use of this particular tool uh let me pull the relay and see what we're dealing with should be this uh, one yeah four pin let's see if we can crank this thing ready All right, so I can crank it, it won't start, meaning that there's multiple issues here. So what I wanna do next is load side, control side stuff, because I, I know load side works. My control side's uh, 85 and 86, so that light should light whenever I crank it. Tell me if it does. No? Okay, so the fact that the ECM is not activating that relay is a problem. Now being able to use this to crank, is that verifying that those circuits are good? Um, no, just load side. All that does is tell me that our load side contacts, which are 30 and 87, um, and the feeds to the load side of the relay and the feeds down to the starter all of that is good the issue is control side. the control side the engine computer is not allowing or or cranking this this starter relay um, i didn't hear the fuel pump run either which is which is a, a concern as well but we can stay focused on the starter relay if we get control side back to the starter relay we may get the rest of what we're missing back too like it all might be centralized okay so starter relay control i'm, I'm gonna need a diagram i think at this point let's let me grab a test light first okay so control okay i got no power on 85 and 86 on either 85 or 86 Let's switch 
polarity now. See if this is ground side switched or not. So that's got to ground all the time. So then that means it's going to be power side switched then on that side. And I have nothing. Okay, starting. So 85 and 86. Yeah, we confirmed 85 is grounded all the time. Just using the test light. And that power feed comes directly from the ECM start relay um, control circuit directly from the ECM and we're missing that um, so then it's gonna have a park neutral signal input just got to make sure those inputs are good the park neutral signal and the park two different park neutral signals okay di different engines six liter comes down to directly to the automatic transmission direct ECM control. Let me go back to our scanner. Yeah, that's working properly too. Now, if that wasn't, would that prevent fuel? Uh, prevent me from cranking it. Cranking. Yeah. And that signal comes directly from the ECM and it's not. Let's see what kind of special functions this allows me. Probably not going to have a start. Oh, a starter relay. Nice. We have a bi-directional control. Let's go out and see if that lights that light. So it should when I hit what light am I looking at? this test light right oh, here. Just the test light. Okay. Yeah, that's the con uh, load side or control side power feed. It comes from the ECM. Starter relay control. Pressing on. There you go. There you go. All right, so the computer can control it. Can you uh, hit the key in the crank position for me, Keith? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, it's not. Okay. So, some type of theft, maybe, type of shit going on. We did have some theft codes. So, I know bi directionally it works. So, that at least tells me wiring wise going down to the module doing checks down there is not necessary we have circuit integrity circuit integrity is good all the way up to here but why is the computer not turning this on let me go to our uh, codes let me see if we have codes in the ecm start a relay control circuit co i have a code for that and i have a fuel pump code because i had those out and with this let's see let's clear these Yeah, no codes. Can you hit that key again and crank it? Okay. Okay, so why is the ECM not commanding that? I don't know that the trailer brake control module would cause that. Lost calm with ECM, I don't see that as causing the ECM to not crank the engine over. So why is it not? There's no reason that this ECM shouldn't be cranking this over, especially without a, a code. It's just starting system circuit description, ECM, cranking based on power mode input and the status of the park neutral position switch, which I checked. Voltage at ECM park neutral switch signal circuit is low, indicates ECM conditions are acceptable for cranking. When a power mode crank request is seen, the ECM applies voltage to the starter relay control circuit. This energizes the control side of the relay, which pulls the switch closed. Yep. This is like very basic. There's no reason why it shouldn't be doing it. The other thing too, is this is more than a starting circuit problem because I, it should start with my, with me flipping the switch and forcing it to crank. It should, it should start and it's not doing that either. Unprogrammed transponder identification code received. So that, that could be an issue. There's three different keys here. Oh, there's four different keys here and they all crank they all turn it <laughs> two aftermarket ones <laughs> one key works three of them don't hey it runs we're done <laughs>
Well, I think, I mean, you'd think the ECM would have told me that, but like that key, so that's the one with the little white tab. That one works. It wasn't showing These us. ones. Was it showing us this earlier? And now it's working. I don't know if it was just like, they're all working now. So, what the? Okay. so I don't know if that was like a code clear that I needed to do. Like, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Hey, uh, one last piece that I want to mention. Uh, my friend Keith, who was a former student, a lot of you guys were like, how does a former student of yours not able to do this? And uh, so what you guys don't know, and I didn't include really at all, is Keith is not in this field. He is a military guy. Uh, took advantage of the GI Bill coming through Rosedale. Um, learned his... Uh, fundamentals so he can work on his car and other people's cars and uh, honestly he was an automatic transmission guy that was his specialty um, so he never looked at it uh, I think he scanned it as a basic code reader scanned it no calm with the ECM and that was it um, so that was the extent of him looking at it because it's his boss's truck for this uh, company that he's working for and um, yeah so um, props to my friend Keith He's a great friend, and I uh, uh, just wanted to address that because a lot of you guys were kind of getting on on him about not being able to do that, and it just wasn't fair. So everybody has a different path. Everybody's got a different uh, bent, and uh, there's no wrong way to do this thing we call life, right? Pay your bills, have food on your table, roof over your head. Who cares about the rest, right? All right, guys. Thank you.